just a little bit of all-purpose seasoning on both sides of the salmon. Good, nice amount there. I'm going to let that set for just a moment. And I've got some frozen vegetables here I'm going to throw on right on the corner. Just some frozen veggies to go with this salmon. I'm not ashamed to do that. Got a little water. Let those cook up. Get in there. I mean, this is going to be ridiculous easy, folks. Salmon on the Blackstone shouldn't be difficult at all. Uh, all I'm going to do is add a little olive oil right here. Then I'm just going to take this guy and I'm just going to place it. I'm going to do skin down first. And I think I'll do about... I'll move that to turn this burger on. I'll have this one on here. Move that over just a little bit. I think I'll do about five minutes on this side flip it and do five minutes on the other side so welcome into the Okie smoking kitchen where it's all about outdoor cooking and today it's salmon so we're going to cook this up just like i said simple i was wanting some salmon tonight uh, and just found this at walmart I, it was a two pack for right around nine dollars so i'm just cooking one right now and then uh, add the vegetables to it just a nice little quick dinner i thought i'd share with you guys uh, so we'll see how it turns out here in just a moment I haven't yet done this. I've done no salmon on the Blackstone griddle. And it's a perfect day out here. It's actually long sleeve weather. Long sleeve weather in the in June, middle of June. It's it's ridiculous. It was like uh, I think they said at midnight. Today was the coldest day or the coldest low on record in Oklahoma. It's 68 degrees at midnight and We've been in the 70s, low 70s all day rain. 70s tomorrow, and then we'll finally get back to some summer temps. So we're gonna let this cook, and then uh, let it flip. I might not quite have that hot enough. I'm gonna crank the heat up on this salmon for just a second. Go and check on these vegetables just a little bit. Oh yeah, softened up nicely. Might add a little seasoning to that as well. Got a little brown coming on. I'm gonna turn this side a little low. So let me just be straight with you here. Cooking salmon is definitely not my strong suit. It's something I don't do all that often. It's something I usually have other people, professionals, prepare for me, so to speak. Uh, but I'm gonna start trying to cook it myself and see how it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this. Looking nice, looking nice. Took that side a few minutes. And check these vegetables. Oh yeah, I can smell those. Mm. This is a little one person meal on the Blackstone. And it is flaking, yep, flaking right there. Starting to look good. Starting to look good. And going back to, I've really never done this before, and this is the first time I've ever really cooked this on this Blackstone. I had someone comment on a previous video and it said you should get good before you make a video. And actually, I don't agree because I'm just an ordinary guy like you and uh, everybody isn't pros, so we're going to go ahead and figure this out together. And let's check what the internal temperature is right now. You can see that rolling in at about 110. 100, whoo, that's 136 on this side. It's 119, 100, that's actually almost done. Uh, I think I touched the grill there. Let me go right on the sides through the center here. Yeah, that center part's only about 99. That needs to cook a little more. Let me flip it one more time. Whoa, look at that. Yikes, that looks good, doesn't it? We're done, folks. We're going to pull this right off. That's going to continue cooking anyway. Went ahead and washed my uh, cutting board. I'm going to place that right there. Throw these 
the babies. Right there. I do have the burner off now. It's still a little hot. Flip this right here. Give me a little thumbnail pick here. Flaking right apart. Look at that. Don't even need this. And that's how you do it. Mm. Very flaky. Came out really amazing. Vegetables go well with it. So easy to fix. I don't know why. I don't do it more often. Um, part of it is I like it. Some people around the house are not as, me, eh, don't really care for it quite as much. So it's just me here. I thought I would try this and it's something I will, uh, I'll make often for myself. Really good. Add some side to it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, just, you know, do what you do. The like, subscribe, uh, and remember, Outdoor cook just tastes better. Cheers.